Yes, 4K TVs are getting cheaper, but only up to a certain size. They're still charging a bangsawan tax for TVs 75 inches and larger. What to do? How's big have to pay tax law? Which is why today I'm reviewing the BenQ W4000i, a super chunky 4K HDR home cinema projector that I think is pretty affordable. Hashtag cheap buy, even at 14,999 ringgit. Let me tell you why. So in terms of aesthetics, the BenQ W4000i looks pretty sleek in a matte black finish with a touch of gold on top. Not to win its way into the AV rooms of Chinese uncles, but to let you know that it's just a little bit atas. For the I.O., you get two HDMI 2.0 ports, one of which supports eARC, a couple of USB 2.0 Type-A ports, a 3.5mm jack and also optical port for audio, a LAN port, a 12 volt trigger port to trigger your projector screen to drop and retract. It even has VGA. So old school, new school, this projector stays cool unlike me. It weighs 6.6 kilograms, which is pretty portable, and you have the options to either mount it up to the ceiling, to the wall, mount your projector however you want. Also, it has a shorter throw distance, which gives you a 100 inch screen at just 8.2 feet away, making this pretty good for smaller spaces. BenQ even provides a calculator to help us out, but with both zoom and focus wheels, as well as horizontal vertical lens shift, along with keystone features, uh, this projector allows you the flexibility to stick it wherever you want in your room. But keep it in your room, because some things are not supposed to see the light of day. Day, okay? Speaking of wheels, the control panel is just next to the lens housing for quick access without fishing for your remote in the dark. But the remotes are white color anyway, so they won't be hard to spot. Now let's get into the meat of the review, the image quality, which in my opinion can be broken down into three parts, sharpness, brightness and contrast, and color accuracy or reproduction. Firstly, sharpness. Now, if you've seen more than a few 4K projectors, you'd know that the image sharpness can vary a lot. DLP projectors like this can achieve a 4K image in two ways, with a DLP chip that actually has a native 4K resolution, but those cost quite a bit more. Or by using pixel shifting on a lower resolution DLP chip, like this one. With the W4000i, BenQ used a new 0.66 inch digital light processing, digital micro mirror device chip from Texas Instruments with XPR technology that has a higher native resolution than 1080p to give us one of the sharpest images that I've seen from a pixel shifting projector. Unless you are Hawkeye, I don't think you can tell the difference between this projector and another one with a native 4K resolution when it comes to pure sharpness uh, with a you know, projected 4K image. Next, let's talk about brightness and contrast. Let's face it, most people are not going to be as picky about colors as me, but you are definitely going to have a hard time if your projector is not bright enough for your room or just looks washed out. So the W4000i has a light source that is rated at 3200 lumens, which is plenty bright, but it's only available at that brightness in the bright preset, which looks a little too cool to my eyes. When you switch it over to the HDR10 or a bright cinema mode, it gets a little bit dimmer and it gets even dimmer with the filmmaker mode. Uh, still, it's plenty bright even in a room uh, with a little ambient light. And rule of thumb, the closer you get to your screen, the brighter the image. A lot of people tend to stay away from projectors and choose something like an OLED TV instead because they like to watch super dark movies like the new Batman movie uh, and like to stare into the abyss of their true black levels. Or they're just worried that projectors will give them a washed out image like the government sponsored ones in our schools. Well, BenQ remedies this with the W4000i with a clever piece of tech called HDR Pro to preserve details in bright and dark areas. It has a local contrast enhancer which divides your image into 1000 plus zones and uses an algorithm to adjust gamma for each one of those zones and dynamic black which uses BenQ's enhanced tone mapping to increase contrast by controlling the optical system of the projector based on the content you're watching. 
The proof is in the pudding. No, in our case, on day on day. Don't believe go Melaka and try lah. So images look punchy, but still realistic with great contrast and plenty of details in both shadows and highlights. I was actually pleasantly surprised because I didn't expect this projector at this price point to perform this well. Finally, let's talk about colors. Now, unlike with TVs and monitors, I don't really have the necessary tools to properly measure and calibrate the colors, but BenQ ships the W4000i factory calibrated with a report that states that it covers 100% of both the DCI-P3 and Rec 709 color spaces. Of course, that changes a little bit depending on which preset you set it to. I find the filmmaker mode to be the most color accurate out of all the settings, though like I said, it is also the dimmest. But I think it's well worth it if you have a darker room like our office or a proper AV room or home theater. In fact, I even trust this projector enough to color grade on it or at the very least use it to prove a grade that I've already done on my PC. Of course, you might want to tweak it a little depending on the color of your wall or screen and you do get quite a lot of control over your picture, uh, especially at this price point, thanks to BenQ. When it comes to audio quality for a projector like this, frankly speaking, I wouldn't be using the built-in speakers if you're already spending this kind of cash, but you do get a mono 5 watt travel speaker, why not stereo? I don't know, but it sounds decent enough. I would just tweak the EQ a little to counter that meat-based bloat so you get more clarity. Fan noise is also pretty unnoticeable. I have this right next to my face and this is all you hear. You're definitely not gonna hear it if you're mounting it to the ceiling, uh, is what I'm saying. It's already 2024, everything has to be smart. Your smartphone, smart TV, smart rice cooker, except for you. Of course, this projector also has to be smart, but just how smart is it? So you get a Google certified QSO2 Android TV dongle that provides access to all the Android TV apps on Google Play Store up to 5,000 native apps, I think. Most important of them all is of course the native Netflix app. So you can Netflix and chill properly without gonna potong steam with laggy third party nonsense. Along with the remote, I must say that the overall user experience has been pretty great actually. For gamers, this projector is actually pretty decent. With a 5 millisecond input lag at 1080p 240Hz, it's actually comparable to an OLED TV. I'd say it's good enough for AAA titles like Spider-Man 2 or Final Fantasy 16 on your PS5 or PC, but competitive gamers should just stick to your monitors. To recap, here are the pros, nays, and cons of the BenQ W4000i. I give this projector a hashtag cheap buy, affordable for bangsawan, 8.5 out of 10. When I said affordable, I honestly do mean it. I mean, 15,000 ringgit is no charm change, but you gotta look at price with context. See, a Perodua Axia at 22,000 ringgit is considered a cheap car because Ferraris exist. In the world of home cinema, the BenQ W4000i is kinda like a Honda Civic. It simply punches above its weight class. For 15,000 ringgit, this is as good as home cinema projectors get before you reach the land of diminished returns. You get a super sharp 4K image with class leading color accuracy, with a lot of control over your picture than say 99% of similarly priced projectors out there, and good contrast with commendable detail retention in dark and bright areas. It even has an input lag that is actually decent enough to game with. So yeah, buy this instead of a 77 inch OLED TV that costs double the money if you have a dedicated room for your entertainment. A 100 inch screen from this projector is going to impress whoever you want to impress this Chinese New Year more than a TV that you can get at this price point. Or leave a comment down below if you still prefer a TV at 15,000 ringgit. I like to see what you guys think so we can have a chat about it. But that is everything I have to say about the BenQ W4000 
an eye projector. If you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to like and share. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell harder than you hit pineapple tarts during this Chinese New Year. Huh? And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, TikTok and Instagram to see more shenanigans from the Mob House crew. Again, my name is Bang Sawan Shane and I will see you in the next one. Cool, eh?